Hi Gemini, it's Raina. I want to introduce a new feature of mine called Astro Weather with Raina, and this is going to be probably about twice a month, and it's going to cover your astrological transits that are affecting you at the time of the recording. And I think it's going to be a nice companion to my tarot readings because I used to try to, you know, combine the two and it really didn't work out that well. I think it's better to separate them. I was kind of toying with the idea of doing these once a week, but I don't want to put out that many videos. I I, I don't want people to get annoyed with getting my videos uh, so much, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I think that twice a month should suffice, but of course now we're at the end of the month, so I will be probably putting out the uh, October ones in the near future as well. So with you, you know what's really exciting is that with all this stuff happening in Libra, this is a fellow air sign, so there's a really nice flow of energy. The trine is like, you know, you can just sit back and things just come to you um, in a lot of ways. And so there's not like all this um, um, having to have obstacles in your way in that sense. The sun is going to be in Libra. You have, and, and you know, I'm recording this on the 22nd of September, and that's when the sun is entering Libra. And then Jupiter's already there. You also have Venus there, and there's going to be a new moon there on the 30th. So there's going to be, this is in your fifth house, which is the house of love. So for those of you who are single, I beg and plead of you to please circulate. And that's not going to be hard for most Geminis to do because you're very uh, mercurial. You know, you like to walk around the neighborhood. You like to, to socialize. So I'm sure I don't have to uh, tell you to, to get out and about, but, you know, go to places and go to places that stimulate you intellectually because you are an air sign. So instead of going to a bar and having loud music and drunk people around, try going to, let's see, since it's going to be Libra, go to an art exhibit. Um, or, you know, like a, a gallery opening, or even more up your alley is something involving literary or film, something where it can get you talking with other people. So if there's any kind of um, an art film that where they have discussions afterwards, or if you like politics, you know, and you can uh, discuss issues, things that it, I, I would say, especially like a book reading type of a thing or a poetry reading. But anyway, so um, the fifth house also deals with creativity. So if you are a writer, which many of you are, even, you know, if you just keep it to yourself, this is a great time to start, especially after the 30th, start a novel uh, or a blog. Um, definitely, and you can even make money from it because Jupiter is going to be there. And this could be your home business, you know. Um, definitely, this is great time for starting a home business with, um, you know, all these planets in the fifth house. You know, fifth house can be home business or creative endeavors and love affairs, you know. So all of that is really juicy for you. Um, and then Venus goes into your sixth house, uh, well, actually, it's going to be on the 23rd, so it's happening right away. So this is really good for beautifying um, yourself physically by changing your diet, changing your the way that you move physically. So that might be something to investigate. But the, but the sixth house is also your work environment. So if you've been having kind of drama with coworkers, things might start to get more copacetic in the workplace. The other thing that can happen is that you have maybe kind of like um, a workplace that you have wanted to have. Maybe it's going to be a different location and it's going to feel more harmonious with you even just on the aesthetic level. If you didn't like how it looked physically, you know, Venus can add charm to this area. 
So Mercury has turned direct on the 22nd in your fourth house of home and family. So maybe there were some kind of, um, I don't know, miscommunications with your parents or just your family in general. And maybe if you were trying to sell your house, you did have a solar eclipse there on the first of the month, but because Mercury had just turned retrograde, there may have been all kinds of snafus in trying to get your house sold. Maybe you had already had it on the market. Um, so this should start to settle down and you might start to see results. Mercury will be in its shadow until about, I think it's going to be about October 7th. So it might not be totally on point until then, but just, you know, realize that things are getting ironed out. And if you had any kind of, uh, I don't want to say disagreements, but misunderstandings within your family, that should get sorted out as well. Now Mars is going to be going into your eighth house of other people's money and, you know, more intimate relationships and um, sex and death is <laughs> covered under this um, umbrella of the eighth house as well. This is happening on the 27th of September. So this means that before the 27th, you had Mars in the seventh house of committed partnerships. So did you have a lot of contention, contention within your committed partnership? Um, if so, hopefully, you know, no one filed for divorce, but it could indicate like active, um, you know, court cases. It will be leaving that house and going into this house that Scorpio rules. And so it may signal that, let's say, if you had some kind of um, inheritance issue, this might start heating up. And, you know, actually with... Um, that Mercury retrograde in the fourth house that might be directly connected to something regarding um, maybe it was a property issue that's related to your family and now it is something that is going to kind of uh, get things uh, you know the warrior energy in, injected into that um, inheritance <laughs> battle so to speak just make sure that you do not become too combative. You know, you don't want to burn any bridges. You don't want to have communications break down um, with these issues. So try not to be too aggressive and try to be cooperative. Even though you may feel like a man or a woman on a mission, when it comes to something, maybe, maybe other people were doing something that was less than savory. And, um, you're, you're trying to really get this all sorted out. You know, you can do so while still maintaining a sense of civility. So make sure that that happens. So, uh, yeah, I'm very excited for you, Gemini. I think this is going to be a great creative time and a great love, uh, a romantic time for some of you who are looking for love. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like a private reading where I use your personal natal chart um, to determine all of this stuff, please click on the link below. I have career readings, love readings, combination readings. Otherwise, have a great rest of September. Bye.